Hello everyone, this is Mr. Tipton, and today we are using unit rates to find answers to problems. There's no real uh, notes, no vocabulary, no procedures that we need really, so let's just dive into some examples here. Example 1. Jack drove 170 miles in 2.5 or 2.5 hours. At this rate, how far will he drive in 4 hours? Well, let's start with what we know. What do we know? We're given a rate in this problem. The rate is 170 miles in 2.5 hours. So how far will he drive in 4 hours? Well, our goal, let's go ahead and put our goal over here on the right. We want to know how many miles he's going to drive in four hours. The way we get from 170 miles in two and a half hours to however many miles in four hours is by using a unit rate. We know how to use a unit rate. We're going to divide by 2.5, and that's going to give us 1 hour in the denominator. Unit rate is a comparison to 1. Oh, I'm really having some pin issues here. Um, in the top, 170 divided by 2.5 is 68 miles. So our unit rate is 68 miles per hour. But we need to know how far we can go in 4 hours. Well, real easy. If you go 68 in 1 hour and you want to know how far you go in 4 hours, just multiply by 4. 1, times, one hour times 4 is the 4 hours. And if you multiply the 68 times 4, you get 272 miles in four hours. And because this is a real world problem, we need a good sentence answer. And we will say, Jack, my pen is not going to like this. Jack will have driven how far? Come on, stay with me. Driven 272 miles in four hours. Yeah, I'm sorry about the uh, about the pen that happens the more writing that is on the screen, but you get the idea. You have a rate, you convert it to a unit rate, and then you use that unit rate to find the answer that you need. Let's do another one. All right, pause it if you need to write it down first. No big deal. The farmer's market sells corn. Eight ears for $3.50. How much will it cost to buy 28 ears of corn? Let's use a unit rate to figure it out. Current rate, uh, how much will it cost? Because it's asking how much it's going to cost, I need to make sure that my dollar amount is on top. I'm given 8 ears and I want to know about 28 ears. That's the part I can control, so that's going to need to go on the bottom. $3.50 for 8 ears. To make it a unit rate, I'm going to divide. And that's going to give me, let's see, 3.5 divided by 8. Oh, that comes out really ugly. 0. Point four three seven five okay so that's like forty three point seven five cents per ear now even though that's a really ugly number and we don't really use four decimal places with our money I want you to leave it like this anyway and because of the next step we're trying to find out how 
much it's going to cost for 28 ears of corn. Ears. So we're going to multiply this by 28. Don't round this 0.4375. You will get a more accurate answer if you leave that whole thing in there, then times 28, and then round if you need to. This time it comes out to $12.25 for eight ears of corn. And that's the sentence I'm going to write. It costs $12. You know what? I'm not going to write the rest of it because my pen is not cooperating. But you're going to write the rest of it because that's what you need to do when you take your quiz. It costs $12.25 for 28 ears of corn. One more example of using unit rates. Again, pause it if you need to. Julio is buying cupcakes. $6.25 per dozen. How much for 100 cupcakes? This one's a little different. It's because of the word dozen. You know how many are in a dozen? If you write down one dozen, that's not going to help you get to a hundred cupcakes because cupcakes is not in terms of uh, the hundred is not in terms in terms of a dozen. Probably you know that there are twelve cupcakes in a dozen, so it's six dollars and twenty-five cents for twelve cupcakes. We need to know. Oops, sorry, undo that. We need to know how much it is for. One cupcake, so we divide by 12. Six dollars and 25 cents divided by 12 again is going to give us an ugly decimal that we're going to leave. It's 0 0.52083 repeating. Ugh, it's a horrible number, but that's okay because we're going to multiply it by 100 because we need to know how much for 100 cupcakes. And then when we move that, when we multiply by 100, the decimal gets moved twice, which gives us 52.083 repeating. Now that we're ready to write our answer in terms of money, now we'll round it. And we'll just say $52 and 8 cents. It's a approximately $52.08 for 100 cupcakes. That three repeating is going to round down. Julio will spend, again, sentence answer that I'm not going to write, but you are. Julio will spend $52.08 for 100 cupcakes. Questions? Write them down. Come ready to talk about them tomorrow. See you then.